this is Mark, and today I'm going to be showing you this indigo smoky eye with a bit of teal and some pinky nude lips. I am kind of in love with this look. I love this colourful eye makeup. I actually wore this out for a Halloween student night, so it was really last minute. I didn't think that I was going to do anything for Halloween, and I was Snapchat update, the rainbow filter, because <laughs> it was really, really easy. It was last minute. And so I had that eye makeup on. Anyway guys, I hope that you enjoy. I put a toner on for ages last night. Some of it was still grey and then some of it turned blue. My hair's like steel blue denim colour. I don't know, it's kind of like loads of different colours. I kind of love it. Every time I wash this hair, honestly, it's different all the time. Grey is such a hard colour to maintain, guys. Oh, and as well, I'm already wearing my camo eyes through tone grey. So I think I've got a coupon code down below as well, so I'll leave that down below if you guys are interested in what contacts I like to use. So, I am first going to use my Nivea Pro Shave Balm. So I'm just going to rub this in until it's tacky on my skin. And then I'm going to be using my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and just spray that onto the face. And then I'm going to be using my Real Technique sponge and my MAC Face and Body Foundation and I'm just going to apply that all over. Okay guys, so Christmas is coming. And usually during Christmas times there's a lot of gris- eh? And usually during Christmas times there's a lot of Christmas gift sets that's running about, that's really really good. And last year I got the NARS blush palette, that was so good. Um, but this year guys, what do you think is worth it? Which Christmas gift sets that is makeup related are really, really good? Tell me down below, because obviously I love makeup. Okay, so for my brows, I'm going to be using a product that is a dupe for the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. And I will be showing this in a future video coming soon, so you better watch out for it so you know which product it is. And if I've already got the video up, then I will leave it down below so that you know which product it is. But right now, I'm just going to tease you. So I'm just going to be filling in the brows. You better be excited for that video guys because honestly this product is literally the same. Literally the same as the Anastasia one. You guys all probably know what it is already anyway because you probably spend as much time as I do on Instagram, which is a lot of time. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm at Prince of Vanity. And then I'm going to be using my trusty OCC Skin Conceal in Y1, just to etch out my brows. I'm just going to set my eyebrows with my MUA Brow Define in Dark Brown. Okay, so all over the lid, I'm just going to be applying my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, and this is just a plain white. And I think you can actually get NYX in Boots now. I don't know if it's available in stores, but I definitely know that it's on the Boots website. So if you've been trying to get a hold of NYX for basically years, and if you live in the UK, then NYX is finally available for us to buy. <laughs> Okay, so first off, I'm going to be using my Makeup Geek eyeshadows and I'm going to be using Vanilla Bean right here and I'm just dusting that all over the lid. For my transition colour, I'm actually going to be using this pink right here from the Sleek Acid Palette and this is a pretty bright colour um, because this is a bright look, so this is going to be a lot of fun. I can't remember the last time that I did bright looks on my channel. So I'm pretty excited about this look, to be fair. Okay, so once you've got that all nice and blended, I'm going to take the matte purple right here and apply that into the crease. I'm mixing it in with a little bit of black as well. You want to take your blending brush again with that pink and just blend that through. 
And then for the lid, I'm gonna be taking foiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek, and this is in center stage. This is like an indigo blue color. Also, guys, this is so exciting for me, yeah? Listen up, I have got, what piece of hair on my face? Um, I have got Snapchat, and I have been loving it, you guys. So go ahead and follow me on Snapchat. Now, my Snapchat account is on private, so I just wanna keep it private for the time being. But you can see my story, and I think it's so, so, so much fun. I love, love, love sharing my story with you guys. And anyway, if you want to contact me about my Snapchat or anything like, well, about anything, if you want to, to contact me about anything, then you can always um, comment on my Instagram, and I always tend to reply to you guys on there. And you can always personal message me as well about your life or makeup questions on Instagram. You can talk to me on Instagram and you can see my story on Snapchat. I actually stalk some of you guys on Instagram. Sometimes I click on your profiles when you like my photos and sometimes I go ahead and like your pictures and stuff. I don't know, I think it's nice to see what you guys look like. Look how pretty that looks. Okay, so for the lower lash line, I'm just gonna be applying the NYX Jumbo Pencil again. I'm just going to be applying the pink and the purple two-thirds along the lower lash line. And then with a tiny little chisel shader brush, I'm just going to be using center stage again and just apply that to the root of the lash line. So, I'm going to be wiping that brush clean. Okay, so I'm going to be using Mermaid and Pegasus from Makeup Geek. Mixing them together, yeah? I'm going to be applying that right into the inner corner of the eye. Cool. That looks pretty good. Liner time, I am going to be using my trusty NYC liquid liner. I'm going to be creating a first wing and I'm going to also extend that into the inner corner as well. You see that liner? You want to make it long and thick, just like Beyonce's thighs. Now what I'm going to do is add a bit of glitter, and this is the Collection Glam Crystals in Le Freak, which is this teal colour, and I'm just going to apply that over the top of the inner corner highlight. And then after that, I'm going to be applying my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I'm going to go back in with my concealer and my flat little brush. And I'm going to go against the eyeliner to make it on point. You see that? I don't really see anyone on YouTube doing this trick except for me. But I love this trick. So for lashes, I stacked two pairs of lashes from Backstage Lashes, the ones in Hollywood and also in Chelsea. So moving on to the rest of the face, I'm actually going to be using my LA Girl Pro Conceal in Natural to highlight. And my friend Emiliana, Emily, <laughs> at uni gave me this, so thanks babes. I love it. <laughs> well, I kind of forced her to give it to me. She's a good egg. I'm just applying this under the eyes. And then on the nose bridge. Under the cheekbones. Right here. And then I'm just going to blend that in with my Real Technique sponge again. And then I'm going to take my Mini Beauty Blender. And then I'm just gonna go right close to my eye with this. But Holly from Holly Samantha actually gave me this and this is amazing. I've never tried a beauty blender so I was pretty excited when I got this from her. And then I'm going to be baking. I'm gonna be using my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder and use the same brush to bake. I love this little sponge for baking, it's so good. And then to contour, I'm going to be using my LA Girl Pro Conceal in Beautiful Bronze. And I got this from Emily as well. I'm just going to contour the cheekbones with this.
to bronze with, I'm going to be using my Clinique Press Powder in Ginger with my big ass 100 brush from Real Techniques. This is going to set the cream contour as well. And then I'm just going to brush off the excess powder. For blush, I'm not going to be adding too much blush to be honest. So I'm just adding this neutral colour. This is Hourglass in Mood Exposure. And then I'm going to be using my Revolution BX35 brush from Royal and Langnickel. And I'm going to be using my Kiko eyeshadow. This is an eyeshadow but I'm going to be using it as a highlighter. This is the Water Eyeshadow in 200. Look how pretty that looks. Oh my god, guys. Like, literally in love with this product. And this is gonna go onto the cheekbones. Can you see that glow though? Can you see it? I can go so intense with this product, but I'm just gonna leave it at that for today. And then I'm just gonna apply a little bit on the tip of my nose as well. Okay, so for the lips, I want it to be really pink, but nude still. So I'm going to be applying my Gerard Cosmetics lipstick in Buttercup. I think this look would just be really pretty with a lip gloss. So I'm going to be using the Gerard Cosmetic lip gloss in Buttercream. So I'm using Buttercup lipstick and Buttercream lip gloss. So it goes really, really well together. <laughs> so guys, this is the final look. I am so, so happy with this look, you guys. Oh my god, this look is so pretty. Even my drag tutorials, I use like browns and stuff. So I am so excited to be showing you this kind of look for you guys. And to be fair, I want to show more creative looks for you guys, more colorful looks. So what do you guys think? So this has been Marga Zapanta, comment down below what you think of the video and and if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and if you like me, then please subscribe. Bye guys!